I space H O three Z. Hello YouTube, this will be my attempt on uh, helping you get rid of some uh, viruses and adware. Uh, we all know what adware is, unfortunately, whenever we go and download a program. Uh, sometimes you forget to uncheck some stuff and uh, it in comes some sort of adware that you can't get rid of or it's very hard to get rid of with your virus protection. Um, unfortunately, they're... Uh, <laughs> You know, it's actually kind of hard to get rid of, and most things online that I've read say you can't get rid of it. Well, I'm here to tell you they're lying, because uh, I went in a networking class and it got rid of every single part of my, uh, part of my, uh, networking. Okay, so, uh, let's, uh, do this here. We're gonna go to filehippo.com. I wrote it in the address bar right here. Okay, and, uh... Yeah. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to go into the search bar and type in Malwarebytes. I already put it here, as you can see. So, okay, and then you press go. Okay, and you click on the program. You don't download it. It's that first one right there. And then you click download latest version. I'm not going to do it right now since I've already done it, but uh, whenever you do it, it um it will ask you to install and then you install and then it will ask for an update or if you want to update and my advice is yes you will want that update okay so it'll probably prompt you with a uh, program right here which is this one Malwarebytes which is the one you want to use okay and you perform full scan alright see right there you see the middle one I mean you can do either of them but I prefer uh, full scan to do all the drives that you want see you can check which ones you want don't bother doing your CD drive because I don't see a point in that okay and you click scan and then you're on your way um, it will probably take you on average about um, well on my laptop it takes me about 45 minutes but it's actually very very easy you know it doesn't it doesn't really uh, take up a lot of CPU usage unless if you have a lot of viruses on there so and then once you do that, um, it will have it'll bring up a database uh, on a notepad of how many infections you found or if it found any. And then you pr exit that, and then it will bring you back to the malware program, and you can choose which ones you want to remove. Um, you can <laughs> probably you'll probably want to remove all of them, but still, you know, it gives you the option. And then you click Remove Selected, and it will ask you to restart your computer. And as soon as you uh, restart your computer, they will all be gone. And uh, you will notice a severe difference whenever you uh, use your web browser or anything. You know, as you can see, I my speed isn't really that bad. So, yeah, I hope this helps everybody. And uh, I hope it's because <laughs> it helped me a lot, you know. Okay.